So I want to just talk briefly um, about loving kindness before I close. And uh, it's Father's Day today, and my dad passed away last April. April 15th, he was an accountant his whole life. <laughs> he had a sense of humor. <laughs> I'm out of here, I'm not paying taxes this year. <laughs> But we, it was really a beautiful uh, experience. It was, you know, it was, it was heartbreaking and it was sad and there was grief, but it was actually a beautiful experience to be with him during that passing. And um, it just transformed my life, really. It was, it was amazing for me. But afterwards, um, I was talking with a priest and we were creating this memorial service. And uh, the way the Catholics do a memorial service is, is you know, they have a way of doing it. And, so I was trying to weave in, and uh, you know, I just told the priest I I just like to sing four songs. That's that's really all I wanted to add to the service. And he was like, "Well, hmm, are they in the Catholic hymnal?" And I was like, "Well, hmm, they're not." <laughs> I said, "But they're songs that I wrote, and they're songs my father loves, and you know, they're deeply spiritual, and I really, you know, I think that they would work." And uh, he's like, yeah, but, you know, I said, you know, they should be in the Catholic hymnal. I mean, they could be. <laughs> so um, he was like, well, okay. He's a little reticent, but he's okay. And uh, the time came for the service, and um, it's funny, you know, I was way up here where the choir is, up on the second floor, facing the audience that was all facing the front. So the only person looking at me was the priest, who was at the, you know, the front. And... Um, I sang my first song, and, and uh, you know, I'm here in this old church that my dad grew up in. He went to school there. My grandparents were married in. It's this beautiful old church, and I just felt so much love for my dad that I just let it just, I mean, I just let it drip from every note. I just poured my heart out. And um, after the first song, the priest was just sitting there, and he just, he was like stuck to his chair, and he finally got up to the altar, and he was visibly shaken up. And he said, wow, I need to say nothing more. Uh, there could be no greater testament to Carl Zavada than the love that his daughter obviously has for him and for God. And, uh, you know, he was just really moved. And uh, so then, you know, we continued. I sang a few more songs and we closed the, the service. And afterwards he came up and he asked me, would you sing here this Sunday? Are you available? <laughs> I was just so touched by that. I said, I would love to, but I, I have to fly back to California. But, um, but you know, I just really saw that, that it was love that, that melted. It was love and the presence of love that just melted him and melted me and melted us all and melted the seeming difference between religions. I mean, so uh, much that seems to be a difference or these, these boundaries are really false. They're really imaginary. And... When we feel love and love is flowing in us, you know, it, we just want to connect. We, we love unites, love unites. It's the mind that wants to be right, but the heart wants to be close. And we get to choose. We get to choose each day, each moment. Do I want to be right? Do I want to be close? Do I want to choose love? Is love the reason I'm here? So um, in closing, I want to sing you the last the last song, which I did find in the Catholic hymnal. And I think they stole it from the Sufis. <laughs> but, um, I just love this song. I always close my concerts with this song. And I, just, I just invite you, I'm going to sing it one time through, and I just invite you to close your eyes and just really feel that this song is for you. And then I'd like you to sing it with me the second time through. You, you probably know it. It goes like this. All I ask of you is for 